The Korean People's Army Air Force is 110,000 strong, operating 950 aircraft in 2022. North Korea's most modern type are 35 Russian MiG-29 multi-role fighters. Backed up by 26 MiG-21s and 120 Chongdu J-7s, Chinese-built copies of the MiG-21. It has hundreds of other Russian, Soviet and Chinese fighters and fighter bombers. And among its training aircraft, 15 Soviet MiG-15s, one of the world's oldest jet fighters. But North Korea is unique in other ways, using medium bombers, flying the oldest operational type in the world that first flew barely two years after the end of the Second World War, and still going strong 74 years later. But before we get to that, a quick word from your favourite sponsor. One of my ancestors was famous English King Edward III, but I don't have a title. That was until the good people at Established Titles reached out. Established Titles is a project based on an historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds, or lords and ladies in English. Purchasing as little as one square foot of dedicated land on the private noble estate at Edelston, Scotland, makes you a lord or lady. You will receive a unique plot number and a lovely certificate, and Established Titles also plants one tree with every order, and work with global charities One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. You could officially change your name to Lord or Lady and get it on your credit card, plane ticket and so on. You can even get it on your dating profiles. It makes an amazing last-minute gift. Established Titles is now running an early Black Friday sale. Plus, if you use the code MarkFelton, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash MarkFelton to get your gifts now and help support the channel. The Ilyushin IL-28 was designed and built in late 1947, making its first flight in July 1948 a twin-engine jet bomber. The design requirement was for an aircraft that could carry 3,000 kilos of bombs at 800 kilometers an hour. It was powered by an unlicensed-built version of the Rolls-Royce Neen engine, a 1940s British centrifugal compressor turbojet, the most powerful aero engine of its era. You may ask why a British-designed engine from a company as famous as Rolls-Royce ended up on Soviet aircraft. The answer is that we sold some of them to them. This may seem incredible today, and indeed at the time raised a few eyebrows, and was certainly a terrible mistake made in the early part of the Cold War. A relatively small aircraft, the Ilyushin IL-28, has a crew of three. A pilot, navigator slash bombardier, and tail gunner, sitting in their own pressurised compartments. The bomb site initially used was based on the famous World War II U.S. Norden bomb site. Large-scale Soviet production of the IL-28 began in May 1949 with an improved engine, the Klimov VK-1, replacing the RD-45, the knocked-off Rolls-Royce Neen, giving improved performance. From 1950, the IL-28 was the Soviet standard tactical bomber and was also exported widely, most notably to Egypt, who used it against the Israelis, and to China from 1952 onwards, which received 250 aircraft. China and the Soviet Union fell out in the early 1960s, but the Chinese ordered production of an unlicensed version of the IL-28, which became the Harbin H-5. The design was simpler and lighter than the Soviet original, and the tail was fitted with faster-firing AM-23 cannons. The Chinese operated three versions of the H-5 in its Air Force and Navy, a bomber, a trainer, and a long-range reconnaissance aircraft, but phased the type out of service by 2011. North Korea benefits from close ties to China, and her Air Force operates a whole series of Soviet and Chinese aircraft, as I outlined at the beginning of this video. <laughs> 
It is unclear if the H-5s currently in North Korean service are all Chinese, or whether some are original IL-28s sent to China by the Soviets. So why does North Korea still operate a jet bomber that first flew 74 years ago? It has 80 IL-28s in service in 2022, though it's suspected not unreasonably that many have been cannibalized for spares to keep a core of aircraft flying. The reason for their operation is simple. They provide North Korea with a bomber capable of attacking South Korea and Western Japan to bomb conventionally and is a useful addition to its expensive and probably scarce long-range missiles. The North Koreans retain the type for the same reason the US holds on to strategic bombers of the Cold War period, like the B-52. And the Russians, the Tupolev-95 Bear. to enable old-fashioned large-scale bombing of targets. Obviously, the IL-28 would be at a massive disadvantage in any modern air war against the kinds of modern aircraft and missile systems that the South Koreans, the Japanese and the US Air Force could use to protect targets in South Korea and Japan. But much would depend on how much of this very expensive equipment survived the initial North Korean artillery, rocket, missile and aircraft attacks, should a conflict break out on the Korean peninsula. Anyway, for now, like the B-52 and other venerable early Cold War bombers, the IL-28 and its H-5 variant soldier on in frontline service in North Korea, making it the world's oldest jet bomber still in active military service, a fact often overlooked in the lists of flying Cold War antiques. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.